and welcome to Muscovy. Today I just did a quick tour of our main pantry. Um, this is just like a small closet off our kitchen that we keep a lot of what I call our working pantry foods. Um, we don't have a lot of cabinets in our kitchen and only a couple of those have actual food in them. Um, Ironically, the two cabinets that we do have food in, the shelves are like broken, so we actually can't store anything heavy in there. So it's all in this pantry. Um, I just did a tour and I talked a little bit at the end about, um, you know, how strategies to kind of build up your food storage so you at least have a couple weeks of food lying around in your cabinets. Um, so if you want to hear about that, just skip ahead. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a fabulous day. Hello and welcome to us going. I'm going to try and film this today. <clears throat> it's Saturday morning on the 29th of October, but I don't know if you saw my tweet the other day, but my squirrel friend who is quite frankly my nemesis is um, building a nest right outside our living room window and we have large windows in our living room and the dogs can see everything so they're a little excited and they're playing quite a bit right now so I may do a voiceover we'll see I'll put a picture of our little squirrel friend in the video today it's actually the gray squirrels, which do have a nest in that tree as well. <laughs> Theirs is much higher up. The um, Douglas squirrel, which are like the brown monkey looking ones. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, those ones are native and they're actually pretty aggressive. And they, he's building one directly in the window where the dogs can see. So I was going to do a pantry tour today um, just because we're going to do a pantry kind of clean out month for November. So I thought I would film it. Um, I'll pr I might do a freezer clean out or a freezer recap on Monday. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm pretty busy with schoolwork and I just want to do a pantry clean out. So we have, I guess, the bottom um, and then we have this, this bottom shelf and then we have this shelf and this shelf and then the top shelf. And the top shelf really does not have any food on it except for what you can see, right? There's popcorn on the left. This is um, just popcorn. We have some balsamic vinegar. And then this, I checked this Pop-Tart box and there's only one Pop-Tart, not even a whole package, but one Pop-Tart left in that box. I'm hoping they'll eat through that this week because <laughs> so you can see we have a lot of open Pop-Tart boxes. And since they only eat one at a time, I have a suspicion that, I don't think these two are open, the cookies and cream. And then this is a second cupcake one. There's one of these two over here is a cupcake as well. Um, but my husband and my oldest daughter get into these, even though they're for the kids for emergencies. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to buy these again for a while. I may let them run out, um, just be because, um, I don't like having the kids eat them. I'm trying to find other stuff that's healthier for them to eat for emergency breakfast. And then we have this tuna that I'm trying to eat up. I think I have two packages left. I don't eat a lot of tuna, um, and we bought this for our son, but he doesn't like this one. It's a little bit more watery, I guess. I don't know. And then we have liquid IV up there. I don't think there's any other food up there. There might be some seaweed in the back, but um, it's mostly like our dishes for entertaining up there because it's really hard. It's like my hand, I'm standing flat on my feet. It's hard to get up here. So we have some dishes, my dad dropped off at our house. <laughs> we did not order Crusade dishes. This is almost empty too, but see, there's a lot of space back there. So I could fit more stuff up there, but we just don't, we don't, it, it's, it's hard to get up there. And every time we forget stuff, unless it's right in front. So this is like our kind of like grains shelf and oils. So we have in the back here, this is all um, noodles. So we have these and I didn't, I didn't do very much organizing, so I did a tiny bit. Um, this pantry is always in disarray because we're in and out of it all day long. The kids get themselves things, so I do not keep it super organized. This looks like has also noodles, but this is like our grains. Um, 
and beans. And then I keep the seaweed because it's kind of um, bulky. I just can keep it on top. Then I have our oils. We have, I think this is, what is this? Canola. Canola. Um, and we don't go through a lot of canola oil. And then this olive oil. And then in the back is the nicer um, olive oil the, from Costco, the one that um, you just don't cook. So, And I open this olive oil container probably at the beginning of the summer. So we don't go through a whole lot of it. Um, but I don't have any more of that down in my pantry. So I may have to buy more of that in the next six months. But this, I think I have another one of those. And then we have our chocolate covered raisins, which I just moved up here just because I didn't know where to put them. But there's also this whole back corner back here is cereal. Um, and I just moved this up. The, we have a few boxes left of that uh, gluten-free pancake mix. And it looks like we have some um, of the instant potatoes left back there. But we have a lot of open boxes of cereal right now. So I think I'm going to try and go through some of these. We don't eat a lot. That's why they kind of sit in our pantry. Um, I like to eat them for dessert. So, And then this back corner back here is all baking supplies, like our sprinkles, this candy. Guess what? My oldest daughter bought my kids for Christmas last year. A cotton candy machine and she will not take it with her to her house so it sits in my house and then she leaves this can this sugar for cotton candy and they do it every once in a while luckily it's an easy cleanup um see look there's more cereal back here but um this is like our baking spices and stuff and then i have the luna bars here these are not full these are all three of these are probably halfway full and then these are some cookies we need to eat up I bought these for last Christmas and they are slightly expired, but they're still good. Um, I just opened that uh, last week, I think. So we're gonna have some probably this weekend. We might do tea. Um, and then this is our fruit leather. So I combined all three boxes because they were taking up so much space, but we have the layered ones from Costco, these guys, and then these guys, which these ones have those little cards on them, and then the Stretch Island ones in here. And my son knows he can just grab from this whenever he wants. Um, and then my daughter does not like fruit leather, so she can too, but she doesn't like it. She'd rather have fresh fruit. Um, we have our cocoa that we have. I know I have a big container from Costco somewhere, and I can't find it, which is a little concerning because how do you lose a gigantic box of a cocoa? Apparently I can, so I have to find it. But the top one is the reduced um, sugar one that I do. And then the bottom one is this unicorn one that my oldest daughter bought for the kids. And so I inherited that. Um, and we just opened it, even though it's been in our pantry for a year. Um, and this is our gluten-free pasta that's open right now. This is about half full. This one, that you can see is not quite a little bit. I, I make this and then I put the tuna in it with some mayo, kind of like a, t a warm tuna salad. It's really good. And I have a couple of these that I need to use up from our emergency kit. Um, they are expired. I think maybe they're close to being expired. I'm not really worried about it though. I know freeze dried food lasts past when it expires, but this beef stew, let's see. Oh, February 2018. I think I looked it up and it was. This is December 2007. Well, maybe it is really expired, and that's why I pulled it out. Um, this one is gluten-free, the eggs. So I keep meaning to eat the eggs in the morning. And the other one is not. So I may, I don't know, I'll do that one. But don't buy freeze-dried food unless you're going to eat it, is what I'm learning about emergency kit and emergency preparedness, because we don't need it. <laughs> so um, I just always keep a can of these up here for the kids if they want it. And somehow I ended up with two peaches and then I have some soups and some other beans back here that need to be eaten um, and then this is like uh, peanuts I found in the back <laughs> so they need to be eaten as well um, and then this is just we keep we have those big bags of oatmeal that we bought from um, Bob's Red Mill so we just fill this container and keep a smaller container upstairs. We do have a small like a storage area downstairs that we also have like some of the bulk items because this pantry doesn't fit you know a lot of oh, Zoe's in the way our dachshund um it doesn't fit as much as you think it would even though it's deep but if we put too much in it it's um stuff gets buried so i try and keep it really light like this hold on sorry the dogs <laughs> um i guess she's just gonna be loud so then i also have um 
with some fruit cups for my daughter. Um, she just eats them whenever. They don't, they don't let, they last a long time in our house. We don't eat them that frequently. And then this is my oatmeal stuff. So pumpkin seeds, right? And cranberries I put on top of my oatmeal in the morning. And in the back we just have some rice cakes and then I keep a few cups of applesauce. I don't know if you can see them back here, just for baking and then some flower seeds and then my crackers. So this is my opened container of crackers. So these ones expired in July, so I'm eating through those. Um, I only have two, that, I think I just have this and another half a container in the bedroom. So I keep a few crackers in the bedroom for in case I need like ibuprofen at night. I'm gonna come all the way down here. <laughs> um, and for the kids, to bribe the kids. <laughs> Sometimes they, they just need a little snack. So this one is like our junky, it's the most junky, I would say, this shelf. So this back corner is um, macaroni and cheese. That bottom box is also macaroni and cheese that we need to eat up. I'm sure that this Bonza macaroni and cheese was in my freezer and pantry cleanout videos from February and March. If you go back to my original videos, I think that was in there. We clearly are not eating it. Um, it's not the best. I'm not a huge fan. And then the bottom one is the Daya that I bought, which I actually really like. It's the one with the bake, the fake bacon in it, but it has coconut in it. And I, in the last year, I developed a coconut allergy and I can no longer eat it. So um, I'm not sure what to do with that one either. I'm sorry, I have a dog underfoot that's like going to get stepped on because she's tiny. Okay. So then we just have our crystal light for the kids in the summer, and then this is oatmeal, more oatmeal, but this oatmeal is not gluten-free. It's the stuff we got from the school. We did open it, so I didn't give it to the seniors. This is gluten-free rolled oats, um, This or this is quick oats. These are rolled, so that's the difference between these. And then, don't laugh, but we go through a can of freeze-dried strawberries every few weeks. Um, my son doesn't eat fresh fruit and he loves dried fruit and these are literally just strawberries that just dried and they're one of his favorite snacks so I buy a lot of these and I'm sure that the mailman thinks that I just am hoarding these strawberries but we can go through a can in a week so I like to have three or four on hand because they do sell out for people that you know are stashing it up for emergencies um, and then the Gatorades that we um, just open and use and then we have like sugar and then there's peanuts and stuff in the back and garbanzo beans our snacks um, this is like a old M&M container from a really long time ago and we either fill it with goldfish or um, Cheez-Its depending on what we've opened from Costco at that time um, and then we have these animal crackers that I bought this is uh, Z-Bars and then these are those I we have not opened these yet I don't remember if you saw my grocery haul when I bought these at Winco I think it was a couple weeks ago. Um, if you just look under my grocery hauls, you'll see it, the, win the last Winco haul that we did. I bought these there too, these Scooby Snacks. Luna's trying to come in and eat me. Um, there too, we haven't opened these yet. And then these are my gluten-free fig bars. I buy these in bulk off Amazon. And then we have more cereal. <laughs> look, this is the non-sugary cereal. <laughs> just because it's so big, it doesn't fit. Rice Krispies and Rice Checks, and then in the back is baking supplies, and those are the marshmallows. My husband bought the kids as a joke last Christmas. It was two gallons <laughs> of marshmallows, and I think we have a gallon and a half left. At some point, I will attempt to throw them out, but not yet. <laughs> and then we have our Cliff Bars, and these are just um, the chips that we use for nachos. We don't eat them usually, at least I don't. I think my husband might get into them, but at night but I don't really eat them outside of the nachos and then we have some mini spooners and we have our bags back there dog food dog food the sweet potatoes and I don't know what that is it's probably some kind of flour and then my husband's flax and this bottom container is tea um, you can see it's kind of messy in here I need to clean it again but um, my daughter left a bunch of tea when she moved out and it's all in that container and I can't get rid of it. <laughs> no one will let me get rid of it. So someday that may disappear. Um, so that's it for our, like our main pantry, our working pantry. Um, this pantry. For a long time, we just had this pantry, and then we had a small shelf in the garage. 
for things like um, like if we bought extra bars or if we bought you know sparkling water or um, cereal boxes or whatever but last summer we decided to clean out our storage room and we put shelves up and so I do have like big containers like the rest of the goldfish containers are downstairs there in the storage and the extra I have two more boxes that I bought at Costco of the these layer bars when they were on coupon I have them downstairs um, and we go through a box of these a month so it's not like long long-term storage but it's more like if I find a bargain and I need to stock up I'll put it down there um, when we first put that storage in I really was like "Ooh, I have space you know <laughs> and I just filled it <laughs> but it's been almost a year now I think we did it in September so maybe it has been over a year and I'm not restocking everything I'm only restocking stuff that we run out of so like the olive oil we probably do need to buy more of it but I'm not buying it yet I mean like, we just opened this container it's to about here I mean we'll, I don't I don't want to I don't like food to go bad and um, I don't want to like I'm not somebody that's gonna buy a bunch of food and then let it sit so I really try and rotate through what we have as we go so like with cereal a grocery outlet tends to get it like cereal tends to go on sale at all at the same time and then we stock up and then I don't buy it for months like we will sometimes we'll go a year without buying cereal like I just bought this this Chex, right? Remember, because it was on super, it was on sale. I hadn't been able to find it for a good price in a long time. And I have two boxes up here and then another box down here. And then I have four or five boxes downstairs. They would not all fit in this this um, pantry. So that's kind of what it is. I'm working on reducing what we have down there. I'm not going to film it um, today. Maybe someday I will, but it's kind of messy. My kids play in there. <laughs> so... I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm working on going through it, and then every month I donate some of it to the seniors. That's not expired for sure. Um, but you know, everybody should have at least a month's worth of food, right? And we have a unique situation where we have different allergies and sensitivities in our house. And my husband, like my husband, is mostly vegetarian, so we have to have vegetarian stuff for him. Like I'm gluten free. My kids are not. You know, some kids like certain things and other kids do not like those things like these noodles my son loves these my daughter does not like them she won't eat them so I had to stock different soup for her like it just it becomes like this a large amount of space that we have to use up for our food storage for emergencies so like my daughter will eat these my son will not so I have this for him in an emergency, yes, I would 100% eat these. I probably would not eat those. I might, but <clears throat> you know, stuff like that where we have to just be mindful of it. So if you guys don't have an emergency stock up, I would recommend at least trying to save up a couple weeks worth of food. Maybe buy an extra can or two a week or an extra box of whatever it is you're getting. Like when the fruit things went on sale, I bought three because they were on sale. When these crackers, like I just went, I on, I just posted my grocery outlet haul from Friday, the 28th of October. You should look at that if you have not. It's the latest one in the grocery hauls. Um, I just bought four more of these. They're a dollar each at grocery outlets. So I wait till stuff goes on sale and then I just buy extra, right? So that's what I would recommend doing. Just buy one or two items extra a week and you would be surprised at how quickly it grows and then you're like wait I need to eat it and then you'll spend a month like traditionally a lot of people will do that in January they will do a pantry clean out but I'm gonna do one again this month um, I'm gonna try and eat through some of this stuff I'll probably make macaroni and cheese this week <sighs> just to use up some of it but you know I don't want to eat too unhealthy so that's it for today just a quick I guess not so quick rambling pantry pantry video um, let me know what you think. If you want to see this again at the end of the month, maybe I'll show progress. But um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, hit the notification bell and then you will get notified when I post something new. I'm trying to post a couple times a week. I may start posting some of my cross stitching, so let me know what you think about that. Um, 
And I guess have a great weekend. If you do celebrate Halloween, happy Halloween on Monday. My kids are so excited to go trick-or-treating. Thank you. Thanks for watching our pantry. Uh, I guess it's not clean out. Pantry. Going through our pantry. Pantry recap. What are we going to call them? I don't know. I got to come up with a name. But thanks for watching today. Um, it's been a busy week. Um, really, really appreciate everyone who comments on my posts and um, just let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I'll probably do another, at least a check in at the end of the month for our pantry and see where we're at. I'm going to try and post some things on my blog, which is oscoe.com. The link is down in the description. So if you want to check that out, go link, look there. I have a bunch of stuff, especially recipes for gluten-free people like me. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Thanks. I almost forgot to put a picture of our squirrel friend in the video, but this is our squirrel friend who has been sitting outside our tree eating the fur cones and twitching its tail at my dogs all week. So... So maybe probably not the best picture, but they move so fast I can't get them in focus. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend.